Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on Meccano Techniques N4, uh, working on uh, gear drives. So in this case, we have got uh, one of the most uh, important questions uh, that we have in our syllabus, uh, working with an epicyclic gear uh, train. Um, so we're just going to work on this question so that we just understand how to attempt this difficult question. Because it's like this for all the questions that you're going to attempt. These are the stages that you just need. Okay, so we are given here that uh, the epicyclic gear train, this is, okay, this is from June 2022, guys. Okay, June 2022. Okay, so we're given the epicyclic gear train shown in fig three below consists of an annulus A, so we've got uh, the gear A, which is the annulus, in this case, this is our A, all right? So in this case, uh, like this one, all right, that's our annulus in this case, which is our A, all right? Uh, that is the one that we have presented on the other side. Uh, and a sun gear B, okay, so we've got a B here, which is our sun gear, and in this case, that is our B in this case, which is our sun gear, all right? Then uh, connected the output shaft having 28 teeth, all right? So we're given that it's connected to the output shaft, which is the B that we are given, all right? So we can also write also the information that we are given TA. Uh, let's just be writing TA. We are given that it's 100 teeth. Uh, TB is equivalent to 28 and rotating at 140 revs per minute in clockwise direction. A planetary gear D, so D is a, our planetary gear here, which is D, which is this one presented here. So that's our D in this case, which is the planetary gear, all right? Having 16 teeth, so TD is equivalent to 16, and gear C having 22 teeth, so TC, that's 22 are mounted on the same axis. So take note, D and C are mounted on the same axis. So these two must have the same uh, rotation because they are mounted on the same axis, C and what, C and D, okay. So this is the information that we have and also the arm that we are given here, which is the arm C, E, arm E here, this is your arm. So this is our arm E like that, okay. So the question is, as you can see, we are given on the diagram, we've got a rotation at B here, which is 120 revs per minute. So this is the one that you work with on your calculations, okay? Uh, anything that you're given, please work with the information that you're given from the diagram, okay? So this is what we are given here. Uh, all right, so the question, let's check the question here. What was the question? So the question is, Calculate the speed and rotation of the annulus, which is A. Take note. I want to calculate the speed of the annulus, which is A, if the arm E is fixed. Take note, E is fixed. Then the second condition, determine the speed and direction of arm E, assuming the annulus A is fixed. Okay, so we shall, we shall just combine this question on a single table, all right? When uh, calculating for A, if E is fixed, and calculating for E while it's A is fixed. Okay, so this is what you're going to have, guys. I want you to see uh, the table I uh, have here. So I'm going to have um, gear A, gear B, gear C, gear D, and arm E like that, okay? So let's see what is going to happen here. We are given the first part that we are that we have that c is being fixed why least we are going to be working on a in this case because we are asked to calculate the annulus for a so which means we are going to rotate a at that moment okay so this is what we are going to have uh, so we're going to fix the arm as we are given there the arm c so fix arm c okay then we rotate all right so here we are going to rotate uh, gear A in this case, so we are going to rotate gear A. Remember, it's a one revolution in the clockwise, so that's a plus one, so plus one revolution, okay, or just plus one rev. So it shows that it's in the clockwise, okay? So if it is like that, 
then what is going to happen at A? Remember, A is the one that has moved one revolution. So A is going to be plus one. What about B? What happens at gear B? Okay, so this is what I want you to take note. Where do we have our B in this case, which is the sun gear? Okay, the formula that you are going to use to calculate here the rotation that you are going to have is TA. So the take note for this formula, TA over TD multiplied. So this is positive TA, positive TD multiplied to positive TC over negative TB. All right, so the B will be moving in the anti-clockwise. All right, so this is what is gonna happen. So as you can see, we have these values. So you can substitute TA from these values that we have here. TA is 100, so that's 100 over TD, which is 16 multiplied to positive TC, all right, TD, TD, that's 16, then TC is 22, all right, 22 over negative TB, which is 28. So that's a negative 28. All right, so that's the formula that you just need. And we are going to obtain a decimal, negative 4,9113 decimal place. Okay, what about at C? Remember that what I said here at C, these are in connection, okay? They are mounted on the same axis. So that means NC is supposed to be equal to NED. But in this case, we have the formula for NED in this case, where NED is equivalent to, all right, uh, for this D, we are going to use the number of teeth of A, TA over TD, the one that we rotate A here. So it's TA over TB, TD. D is rotating clockwise, A clockwise again, okay? So that's what you're going to do of which we have TA 100. So this is a positive 100 over TD in this case, which is a positive 16, all right. So 100 divided by 16, uh, that's 6.25. So that means we have got N for C because these two are equal. So that means our NC is going to be the same 6.25. We are going to have 6.25 there, okay. What about the arm C? Remember, we have fixed, we have to fix the arm C, which means the stationary there is a fixed point. So this is going to be a zero there. So that's our first part. Then remember, after everything, guys, you have to multiply by X, then you add Y. So you have to multiply by X and add Y like that. All right. So Let's multiply one times x, that's x plus y, negative four comma nine one one multiply to x, then we add y, six comma two two five, six comma two five multiply to x, then we add y, the same here, six comma two five multiply to x, then we add y, zero multiply to x, that's a zero plus y, which is going to be a y, okay? Then, Let's see the conditions that we are going to have at the third part. I want you to see properly now, we are going to work with those conditions that we were given before. Remember, we, we want the first condition, the first one is to calculate the speed and the direction of the annulus A. So we do not know the speed at A, but we are given that E is speed, which means the speed at E is going to be at what? It's going to be at zero, it's, a, it's, it's fixed there. So that is what you're going to have in this case. So here, we're gonna substitute that our NA in this case, uh, we said our NA is the one that we want to calculate and we do not know this one. So our NA, we do not know, but our NE at this moment, it's at zero. And B, we are given the rotation for B on our diagram that B here is connected to a rotation of 120 revs per minute. So we are going to take that 120. All right, so I'm going to use this one on the diagram, which is 120. So this is going to be NB, that's a plus 120 to be rotating in a positive, so 120 revs per minute. All right, so you can substitute NA is the one that we want to calculate. We do not know this. NB, we say this is 120, so NB, that's 120. Uh, at C and at D, these ones, just ignore them. We do not know about this. And E is 
at zero there. So your E is going to be at zero. Okay, so this is how you fill in your table. You move on to the other condition, which is uh, to calculate for this one, which is at uh, 3.2. We are asked to determine the speed and direction of E. So which means this time we do not know what is happening at E. We do not know its speed. But A this time is fixed, which means A is now at what? At zero, it's fixed. Just like E was fixed, speed was zero. Okay, so NA this time is going to be at zero. Okay, so this is what we are going to have. So this time we are going to have our NA now at zero because now it's fixed. But we are supposed to calculate the speed for E, which means we do not know that one. B still not changing, still at 120 revs per minute. All right, so you can substitute this information. So that means NA, we say this time it's at zero. B, it's still at 120. C and D, this one's just forget about it. Okay, then NE in this case is the one that you want to calculate. So NE, we do not know about you. So we do not know this one. Okay, so that's how you complete your diagram, guys. That's how you complete. As you can see, is just uh, a little bit uh, different. Like we, we just have small adjustments from the normal one that we are used when we are dealing with an epicyclic normal, uh, the normal one. But guys, let's you get used to this typical, because they do ask these questions like this now and again. It's a repetition throughout. All right, so the question is, how can we calculate our A from the first condition? Because we have to calculate A, N A, then N E. Okay, remember we are supposed to equate. So I'm going to start with these two, equating this, these two, all right, from this here, we equate so that we can see uh, how to calculate our A for A. So in this case, uh, if we equate X plus Y, it is equated to N A and we do not know this. Then we move on to B. Uh, negative 4,911x plus y is supposed to give us nb, of which is nb is 120. Then we move on to y, y is equal to zero. So y is equal to zero here. So if y is equal to zero, therefore we can calculate x because here we have got y there. So that means uh, from this, we can substitute, okay, y, which is zero, then we calculate x. Uh, how can we calculate x? Because we are just left with negative 4,91x, which is equal to 120. So if we divide by negative 4,11, we can find the value of what? We can find the value of x in this case, which is going to be a negative 24,435 if you round off properly. Okay, so this is your x which you are going to substitute here to calculate NA. Remember that Y is equal to zero. So that means our NA is equal to X because this is a zero. So NA is equal to X and our X is negative. So that's negative 24, 435 revs per minute. All right. So remember the negative simply shows the direction that it's in the what? Anticlockwise. So our NA is going to be 24,435 revs per minute. And this is anti-clockwise because it's a negative. So it's called anti-clockwise. Okay, so we have our NA from these conditions. We move on to find NE. We are going to move to use, we are going to equate now to the third condition, to the fourth one. So which means X plus Y this time we equate to, to a zero. So we're going to have X plus y equal to zero. We do the same here. This one, we equate to 120, uh, negative 4,911x plus y. We equate this one to 120. And here, y is equal to what? To ne. So ne is equal to y from there. Our ne is equal to y. Okay, so what it means is that the speed at E is just calculating the value of what? The value of Y. So how can we calculate the value of Y from this information? Okay, it's easy, guys. I can just make X the subject from equation one here because I have X here. I can make X the subject that X is equal to 
zero minus y, which is x is equal to minus y. So if x is equal to minus y, therefore I can substitute this x in place of y in this equation so that we're gonna have negative uh, four comma, negative four comma nine one one times x, which is our x we said it's negative y like that, plus y, which is equal to 120. So we can calculate y simple like that by just formulating and solving for y. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, multiply, that is going to be positive, negative times negative, that's a positive, one, one, y plus y, which is equal to 120. Remember, this is same as one. So we're adding four plus one, which is going to be five comma nine, one, one, y, which is equal to 120. So to find y here, which is representing NE, you just simply divide by five comma nine, one, one here, which is going to give us something like 20 comma three, zero, one, and it's a positive. So that means therefore, our NE in this case, so therefore NE is equal to 20 comma 301 because NE is represented by Y. So by calculating Y, we are calculating NE. And this is a positive, that means it's a clockwise rotation. So this is reps per minute, which is in the what? In the clockwise. Okay, so take note positive, that's clockwise, negative, that's anticlockwise. Okay, so that was a typical question where you needed to have the table uh, to tabulate everything, then formulate equations that you can use to calculate the speeds that you're given uh, from the annulus and uh, that of what? Of the arm, which is the fixed arm E uh, that we had. Okay, so that, that's what we had actually, and that was a total of 15 marks from this question. Okay, from Amazon African Motives, on mechanical techniques and for till we meet again.